In this little video, I'm going to show you some of the darks and neutrals that I mix from a very limited palette in watercolor. I often use them in the backgrounds in my florals and shadow areas of landscapes. This is my alizarin crimson, which is a very cool, very clear, transparent red. It leans towards the, the blue. That's a bluey red. I'm going to add some sap green, a nice transparent green and ultramarine blue, French ultramarine. These are Windsor and Newton paints. And you can see that it, you could call it a black. In fact, if you, if you did it in a strong concentration, that would be a black. But that's a good neutral that I use so many times. And in floral backgrounds or um, just in shadow areas and landscapes, you'll see me using some variant of that. It, it, I leaned it a little bit towards the brown by adding the green and the red. And if I wanted to lean a little more towards blue, that's a tremendous shadow color. I'll show you a bluer version of it. But all these neutral purples are just a whole palette unto themselves that I use every now and then. I'll make a shadow mixture um, substituting transparent yellow, Windsor Newton transparent yellow, for the green. Just mixing the three primaries, alizarin, French ultramarine, and transparent yellow. And that's another good basic palette of colors. You can do a whole painting with those three. There's my blackish neutral. And again, I can I can make it more brownie, add more of the yellow. Add more add more blue. And it'll be a more typical gray that you would see almost a black. But mixing blacks and watercolor, you've got to choose good pigments, and these are three of my favorites. The, um, the primaries of alizarin, ultramarine, and transparent yellow. And uh, usually in those, in those background areas, I'll use the, the mixture of these three. Um, so you can remember them because it's the optical primaries, green, blue, and, and uh, red.